In this module, we will learn how to calculate various descriptive statistics using SPSS. We already know that there are many kinds of descriptive statistics which are used to describe our data. To do this, we'll continue using our ulcer reference data where we have variable age, duration, treatment, time, and result. If we want to take the descriptive stats of this data, we'll go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics menu, and within it, we have various options available. It is Frequencies, it is Descriptives, Explore, Cross Tabs, Ratio, PP Plots, and QQ plots. PP stands for probability, probability plots. And QQ plot stands for quantile, quantile plots, which we will learn to, to make and interpret later. First of all, we'll look at the frequencies command. In frequencies command, we have given the complete list of variables we have in our data. For any variable that has these three circled its dots, these are an indication that our variable is on a nominal scale. If a variable has this ruler next to it, it refers to a variable that is measured on a quantitative scale. That could be ratio or interval. Having this three ordered bars represents that a variable is an ordinal variable. So here, with two variables, we could see ruler. So hence, it indicates that age in the years and time of last visit in months are quantitative variable. Whereas, duration of disease, treatment, and results are qualitative variables. And out of these three qualitative variables, duration of disease is ordinal, treatment group, and results are nominal. The patient ID is not going to be used in any sort of analysis. It's just an identifier for each participant in the study. Hence, let's calculate the frequencies for variable duration of disease, treatment group, and result. I generally perform the frequencies command for all the categorical variable ones and the quantitative variables afterwards. So since here we have three qualitative variables, we brought all of them together and we simply click display frequency table. There are different other options like statistic. In statistics, we got measures of central tendency. We got distribution measures, that is skewness and ketosis. We got measures for dispersion, like standard deviation, minimum, maximum, standard error of mean, variance range. And similarly, we got the percentile values, the quartiles, the cut points. You can check what cut points do you need and percentiles. But since we know we don't really measure dispersion, distribution, central tendency and percentile values for categorical variables. Yeah, one can use median for the ordinal variable or mod for nominal variable. But generally, when it comes to reporting of the results, most of the time, we only, for categorical variable, we only report numbers with percentages. Hence, since we have brought in all the all the qualitative variables in for the analysis. For categorical variables, qualitative variables, we do not need any of these right away. So we, we do not check any options over here. But in the charts, we know that for categorical variable, two type of charts could be obtained. One is bar chart and other is pie chart. SPSS will allow you to create one at a time. Either it could be bar chart or a pie chart. 
But for a qualitative variable, we cannot calculate a histogram. Histograms are constructed for quantitative variables only. So let's say for now we want to construct bar chart. And for a bar chart, what chart values do we want to use? It could be frequencies or percentages. Right now, we're going to construct a bar chart with the percentages. If you want to construct a bar chart with the frequencies, we'll check here and press continue. One should not forget to click on display frequency table because if we want to check here, it will not show us the frequency distribution of our three variables. So click here and press OK. Now any function that's performed in the analyze menu, the output will always be displayed into an output viewer. And SPSS output viewer has two segments. This is output navigation, where over here you will find all the output given to you. It has given us a frequency table for each variable, duration of disease, treatment group, and results, where it says that there are 31 individuals with less than five years of their duration of disease and 12 individuals with greater than or equal to five years duration of the disease. That will make it 72.1% for less than five years and 27.9% for greater than or equal to five years of duration of disease. In this case, valid percent and the percent is the same. But many situations when data is missing in, the, in, in our variable, then there will be a difference between a valid percent and overall percent. But valid percent is more specifically for non-missing data. Whereas there is this cumulative percent that adds up the, the percentage for all the previous categories mentioned here. And the same interpretation goes for other variables in our analysis. And next, it gives us the bar chart, where this is a simple bar chart, where we can clearly see that how the percentage of P individuals having duration of disease less than five years is higher as compared to the individuals having duration of disease greater than or equal to five years. Similarly, there are more individuals given treatment B and lesser individuals given treatment A. There are more individuals with no ulcer detected, but there are relatively lesser individuals with ulcer detected as the outcome. Thank you.